They call him the bow tie guy, and for good reason. His collection numbers in the hundreds. Tonight, we take you inside the story of Mr. Bowtie. Dan Ruscone joining us live. How big is his collection? Well, Mark and Shauna, 92-year-old Max Moser, estimates he has about 600 bow ties that he's collected over the past 40 years. His fame as a bow tie guy has inspired a neighbor to start his own business. make wooden bow ties. Some businesses are a bit unusual. Definitely an attention getter. Such is the case for Sean Wilson, who makes and sells, of all things, wooden bow ties. Does that sound a little odd? That sounds very odd, but it's it's a kick and we've had a lot of fun with it. But there is a reason Sean gave up his day job and went into the wooden bow tie business. This is my collection. And it all has to do I love them all. with his neighbor, 92-year-old Max Moser. That's my kids. The bow tie guy. That's St. Patrick's Day. I didn't want to get pinched. Who has collected? Trolls. And worn. Well, last count. About 600 bow ties over the last 40 years. That's a decision when I walk in here. Oh, which one can I take? People come up to me, what's that? I said, roadkill. Happy New Year. That's my patriotic. Valentine's. Now you see why Max, the flashier the better, is Mr. Bowtie. Jeez. For Max, it all started when he went from a warehouse job to a sales job. Kind of figured that uh, I might need to dress up a little bit, so I started picking up on bow ties. And, and from that moment on, Max would always be seen in a bow tie no matter the occasion. The louder, the better. Max has a problem with regular ties is they get into your soup bowl and they're too difficult to tie. But bow ties, they're quick and easy to put on, and Max says they attract the ladies. Wherever I go, they, they want to know what tie I have on, they have to come up and ask me. At Max's 90th birthday party, Sean and his wife were tasked with one difficult job. We had to come up with something that he didn't have. One thing Max didn't have was a wooden bow tie. We were doing Max's. So Sean and his wife made him one. And sure enough, that was the first wooden bow tie that he, that he had. And from that, Sean's wooden bow tie business, W.K. Wilson, was born. Max is a mascot, but he's also a mentor. He's a friend. He's kind of someone I aspire to be. He exudes character, which we try to, you know, we try to put into our ties. But At first, Max thought a wooden bow tie would never work. Oh, shoot, that won't work. That's too bulky. That's stiff. And how are you going to hook them on there? And now what do you think of them? Oh, man, they're great. Life may be slowing down for the bow tie guy. Found him crawling up the wall, so I grabbed him. But his love and enthusiasm for the unusual. I'm getting ready to take it off. Is alive <laughs> and well. We're coming along to the market again, hot and heavy. So. Well, Max was born and raised in Salt Lake City. When he moved into his home in Kern 62 years ago, he tells me he paid $9,000 for it. Times have definitely changed over the years, but Max says the bow ties will always live on. For more on this story and get a link to the wooden bow tie guy, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on features, and inside the story. I can't believe so, you two aren't wearing bow ties. I know, we should be wearing one of those. I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't know how to tie one. I really would. He says they're really easy. I know, These are clip-ons. Oh, so they're clip-ons. Yeah, they're oh. clip-ons, so it makes it, he makes it easy. I'm all in on that.